Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to more Roulette Rivals 2024. This is yet another group stage match between Fly for You and the Reaper 47 this time. So this is group E match. Why am I buffering? Internet's not a stroke right now, but I'll keep an eye on that as we go, but uh, yeah, we'll be kicking things off in Mendoza, chosen by Life for You, and we'll have map number two be Haven, chosen by Reaper. My god, why is this buffering so much? Is it just now going through with the refreshes I did? I think so. Hope so. It's still buffering. What the hell? I hope this sorts itself out because my god, it is way too laggy. I'm not dropping frames, so it could be my internet, but can I no I can't. Of course I can. Fuck sakes. I'm not sure if it's just my internet right now that cannot handle this, but hope it's not gonna be buffering the whole game. Oh, this is annoying. Um, fuck's sakes, man. Like, I knew my internet wasn't going to be the best, but I didn't think it would be this bad. So we, we have our spin. I don't know how far behind I actually am with all this buffering because it is just constantly doing it. But I'll give it a refresh for both of them, I hope. But yeah, the spin itself will be John Yates with a silenced SMG as head of security and Mara Vidal with a loud explosive weapon as the tango musician. So not not a crazy spin, but I genuinely do not understand why I am why these streams are buffering so much. Please tell me it is not me. I hope it's not me. Like why is this so bad? Oh my god, so I'm terribly sorry for anyone if anyone's watching this because it is, I would imagine it's very much unwatchable at this point, but I genuinely don't know why this is buffering as much as it is. So, oh. check on my bad because this i can't really focus on the game if i don't know what's going on it's just completely buffering I don't feel so yeah this, and i'm sorry so this is gonna be a very boring cast for now because i genuinely don't get it i really hope that i am not the only stream because i it's just not working for me for some reason Uh, 
Oh, I mean, I get now. Okay, yeah, my internet is actually killing itself. Oh, I may, I might have to restart this after the uh, map's over, but I genuinely do not understand why it is so bad right now. Should not be, but it is. So I, I, I'm not even dropping frames. I just don't think my internet right now can handle streaming for some reason. So I've. Oh my god. Yeah, it, 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 I, my internet is just not handling this right now, so I'll probably have to restart, in all honesty. I'm very sorry to ever, anyone who's trying to watch it, because I... I genuinely do not understand why it is, like, half the time it works and half the time it doesn't, and right now it doesn't, even though it was okay, like, 10 minutes before the game start. And now it's just basically dead. Yeah, it it is not about me even dropping frames. It's just not enough to handle streaming right now for some reason. I'll I can give it a quick refresh see if anything's back, but my fucking god. Like, I feel like this is an ISP, ISP side issue by now. Oh, oh my god. So both of them have made progress at least, but... I have genuinely no idea how or with what. Oh, now it's actually dying. I was an attorney for four decades. Yep, now it is actually dropping frames like crazy, so, uh, there it goes. Yeah, my, I don't know what's going on. Like I'm looking at OBS, it is just fine. I'm not dropping frames right now, but it just will not work either. So. Hmm. Yeah, I, I would, I'm just straight up gonna ask if someone else can take over because I genuinely do not feel like my internet can hold this right now. And I did restart my internet, like, 
10 minutes before the game started and it was fine then but then of course right now it isn't Corvo got a message from the boss the burn would I'll have a look. Stay here. Yeah, they are 1080p because that is the only option there is. Like I, it it's not any better on auto. Because it did that on auto too. So this Unless now it's somehow, maybe, no, still buffering, maybe a little less though, still go, still going off. Yeah, but I, I just, I can't handle it with this internet right now. It's just not possible. I feel like this is an ISP side issue for me right now because my, my router is also getting really bad connection. So I don't know if a restart would help there, but... Oh my god. So yeah, uh, 10 minutes has gone by, neither of them have got through the spin yet, so... I don't know what to tell you unless you want to go watch the actual raw footage without casting, because this is not going any better here. I, I feel like I may have an idea as to why it's so bad, but I didn't think it would be genuinely this bad to where it's like not even working at all. I knew this was a risk taking the game, but. We're in, this is not gonna get any better at least before I restart my internet, so I, I don't know kind of just want either one of them to finish and then hopefully someone with a more stable connection could take it over for the last two maps because I for sure as hell am not getting it by the looks of it.
the other side, Pidgey and Fusk seem to have been speedrunning their maps as you should with their short maps already, but... But yeah, this time it is, or around here we have a little more struggles, except Reaper does finish somehow, but... Uh, what do we get? Literally nothing at all, because, oh no, there he goes again. Yeah, I, I cannot do anything with this internet, so, yeah, I'm very sorry to anyone. But yeah, amidst all this nonsense, Reaper will actually take the map. I genuinely do not know how, but he will be the first one to do it, so. Yeah, I'll... I guess I'll restart my internet, see if it works at all. Probably will not, but... Just... In terms of actually getting to play this match, I would hope that someone else can take it because, yeah, it's not looking good for me. Yep, I'll end this for now. I'll restart my internet. Maybe I'll be back to test, but... Yeah, at least for now, uh... That's enough for me. Sorry about all this mess again. As well, to fly and Reaper... Hello, welcome back. My name is Puck, and we have another Roulette Rivals group stage match here today of the World Championship 2024. This will be continuing over from where Sparkles left off with Haven Island in the Fly For You Reaper 47 match. So yeah, the match is coming up. The map is coming up in 23 seconds at 31 past the hour. But for now, fly for you has been here twice, losing once and tying once. Reaper has been here 13 times, winning 8 and losing 5 with a personal best of 6 minutes and 20 seconds. The record is 537 set by Scruffy in RR12. And the spin is in. We have Tyson Williams, Lod Pistol as resort staff. Stephen Bradley, Explosion Accident Tech Crew, and Lamilla Vitrova, Electrocution as the Boat Captain. Very interesting spin. Of course, Tech Crew is the only villa disguised, so it will not be a server lure here today, I don't think. But I imagine we will see the typical... Um, Theater isolation for Tyson, as we do see Reaper load in from the resort staff start, or villa staff, whatever you want to call it. Grabs a propane flask and a burger. And Fly for You still planning a little bit here. Nothing wrong with taking your time to plan on a map like Haven Island, as there are plenty of things that can go wrong. <coughs> Reaper is opting for the theater isolation here. Chooses to throw the propane flask at the villa guard's head and drags his body into the other room. 
and yeah should be a very quick isolation for reaper here has the pearl of course there is no ntko own tyson so he is free to knock him out and leave his unconscious body there at the screen just so long as he remembers to never break the cardinal rule and open the door to the theater the reaper opts to take the bodyguard disguise and heads out of the villa fly for you on the other side is now loading in for the first time possibly appears to be unsure actually and goes back to the planning before loading in finally all right reaper now has a pistol still in the villa though not sure exactly what he's looking for but he could be going for the tech crew disguise and that does seem to be what he is doing and fly for you actually started by the social hub and is going to seeker or not social hub by the pool and is going to seeker stephen bradley immediately so Looks like he's going to go for Steven Isolation first so that he can set up a remote kill on Steven when he had to get Tyson out of the way as well. Definitely an interesting strategy choice from Fly For You here. Reaper on the other side in the tech crew throws a propane flask at the camera and he might actually opt for a drive-by as there is no need to Isolate Steven with a kill like explosion accident. But we do have a replan from Fly For You. And it looks like he is going to opt for the villa start as well now. Instead of the suit start. But no, Reaper is actually going to take the seeker shot on to Steven Bradley. Plays it extra safe. And here it is. He gets the kill, but saw a trigger. Something is red guns. I believe that is still from Tyson Williams. So he is good to go here. Fly for you now in the Villa staff. Disguise has opted for the theater isolation as well. And now Reaper heads to the boat captain. course the way to get the boat captain disguise you place a coin in his sight followed by a banana and you have yourself one free disguise isolation of course that grab is a bit risky sometimes as the few cones on the security guard at the other end of the restaurant can cause you to rip occasionally but that will not be the case here for reaper as fly for you throws a pearl at the back of the Villa Securities head. Reaper now waits for Vanilla to go up the stairs, takes the Seeker shot, and we'll have her headed towards an isolated location as well. Fly for you did rip, and we'll restart here. Interestingly goes for this tech crew. Knocks him out with a wrench and grabs his disguise. Should be a safe body right there. Not sure he will ever get found, but pauses for a second, perhaps looking for something on hit maps, but does grab the propane flask. And 
Takes another pause. Reaper now has the electrocution kill down as well, as we see in the upper left corner of his screen when Mila get shocked to death. And now Reaper is in the resort staff disguise as well and should be well on his way to completing the spin as long as nothing goes wrong with the Tyson kill. And Fly For You actually in a replan now. Ops to bring a Durian. And Reaper taking his time to enter the Villa does have searching for a second, but nothing appears to have gone wrong for him. Just needs to make his way up to Tyson now. So he takes three, or no, he doesn't. Fly for you, meanwhile, now in the tech crew disguise with the propane. And Reaper takes three shots with the pistol to panic the guards. and will now run upstairs past them as they are oblivious to what he has done. Fly for you has the propane and the tech crew does not choose to isolate Tyson immediately, but is instead going to head out of the villa and towards Steven, I suppose. Reaper did have a little bit of a whoosh there on the mansion staff, but he is knocking them out carefully, so yeah. Taking his time, playing it safe, nothing wrong with that. Nine minutes into a haven spin. Fly for you. Still heading towards Steven with the propane flask in hand. Reaper throws the hammer at the maid and should be really safe. Loud kill for Reaper. Gets one shot. This is the second one. And finally, Tyson has died. And it looks like we're going to see Stephen Bradley dead for Fly For You just at the same time. As Reaper heads out towards the exit. So this should be a GG's here, giving Reaper a 4 to nothing lead over Fly For You. But the map isn't over until the finished appears. And there we have it. 9 minutes, 56 seconds. 4 seconds outside of extending the photo finish window to 45 seconds. So it will be a 30 second photo finish window. But Fly For You will not have enough time to catch up. And that will be GG's from Reaver with the sight of the 5 star Silent Assassin screen. Next map coming up is Chongqing, chosen by Hitmaps. Chongqing, I believe, is one of the most chosen maps by Hitmaps this tournament. But yeah, Fly For You has never been here. The zeros across the board. Reaper, on the other hand, has been here 13 times. Seven wins, six losses, and a personal best of three minutes and 45 seconds. Not too bad from Reaper. Of course, the map record set by Moo and R15 was two minutes and 39 seconds.
so what type of Chongqing spin would y'all like to see today? I think for me, something that could be interesting would be board member scrap sword combination could be pretty cool. Of course, Loud Life, I think, is on the table for Hush as of this tournament. Check on that real quick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, loud live would be, or yeah, loud live would be available for hush. So something like that could be pretty cool. Nonetheless, spin is coming up in 10 seconds. And what will we have? It will be scissors, dumpling cook for hush, garden fork, no target pacification, homeless person for image and Royce. Definitely feels like a dumpling cook start. So you already have that disguise available. Homeless person is no rush to grab either. Scissors and garden fork is, is a pretty interesting melee combination. Of course, you do have balcony start becoming viable with the garden fork right at your disposal. And we see Reaper loading in. as a dumpling cook is going to grab his smuggle. And heads, I imagine to grab the scissors. I think there is a pair right there, yep. And heads up the stairs, fly for you is now loading in as well. And starts balcony to immediately grab the garden fork right there. Of course, scissors aren't too far either with the apartment location in the opposite direction that Flavor is actually heading. So ignore what I said there, but he will head to the rooftop and takes a pause for a second. And we do see Reaper restart after getting spotted by the cameras, and I imagine guard as well but fly for you now has a slight lead grabbing the scissors as well mighty big whoosh there from one of the guards and he's going to go the bad way and oh my gosh free dumpling cook disguise might have just saved fly for you a restart there very early on but what a grab from Fly For You there. Reaper takes three shots and actually somehow panics the guards that stand on the staircase there. Fly For You now has three of the four items that he needs for the spin. Definitely a very viable start for Fly For You. And is going to take Three, the three panic shots on those guards on the staircase and makes his way to that rooftop now where he will get past them as they start to run downstairs. Reaper, on the other hand, now in the dumpling cook disguise, heads towards Hush and is going to get there a few seconds in game time before fly for you but fly for you should still make the timing i believe and there's the kill for reaper with the scissors and the dumpling cook 
actually a fly for you might have missed the timing so it's going to silent attack these block guards take them out might be working not actually sure what he's going for here I have no idea, Scruffy. It was like that when I got the spin link. Fly for you now, dragging the block guard into the closet. There's a bit of a whoosh there from Hush actually walking this way. Yeah, very good routing from Fly For You here. But Reaper is still very much in this as well with the homeless person. Now, a pause from Fly For You to check the spin before getting the scissor skill on to Hush. And now the only thing missing from Fly For You's spin is the Homeless Person Disguise, which Reaper already has, so it could end up being a very close finish here. Fly For You grabs the Researcher Disguise. Reaper now heads towards the... Um, courtyard between the lab and the stairwell that leads up to the facility. And that is a good question. I'm not sure if he did, but Zirun says he did, so. So yeah, Reaper most likely does have the garden fork here. Fly for you actually opting to go for the home, sleeping homeless person here. Misses the trank the first time. Grabs it the second time. But somehow panics the homeless person. What just happened? Will he still get it off or... No, the homeless person is running away, and that is very bad for Fly For You. So now he is going to have to go for a different homeless person in disguise. Hopefully he can find one. Reaper in very good positioning here, though. Has... The homeless person disguised with Imogen heading up to the meeting point or to the point where she will work on the drones. Tranks the guard behind her and just needs to wait for him to go to sleep before he can kill her and head to the exit. And Fly For You now has the homeless person disguised as well. But Reaper is very close to the exit. 7 minutes and 40 seconds finish from Reaper. And that restart from fly for you will unfortunately seal the map for him. Putting a 6 to nothing victory in Reaper's favor. GG's. Very good match. And quite the Chongqing spin actually. Yeah, so let's see how this affected the groups. Right, not sure if it's been updated yet, but we will refresh it just to be safe. And yeah, this was a group 
E match. Is that right? I think that looks right. Reaper has 22 points off of four wins in Group E. Fly for You has 10 off of one win, but has five matches played. So, of course, it is going to take a bit of a long shot for Fly for You to climb back into this, but the fourth spot is definitely still wide open between Falcon, Fly for You, and Apricot. Of course, b and Rusty already eliminated. But yeah, it should be very interesting to see how this group closes up. We do have the other group standings, which I will quickly go through because it is very close to the end. Group A, we have Hausen with 23 points, Time with 22, Froat with 20, Volcat holds the last spot currently with 18 points, but that spot is definitely still up for grabs between Crescent, Soviet, and Alex, who still have a few matches left to play themselves. Group B, you have Growry with 23 points leading the group currently. That Observer has 18 and Fur has 17. Channel has 14, but Pidgeot could very easily come back with his five matches left and take one of those four spots very realistically. Group C, Scruffy has already advanced with 34 points. Big Machete close behind him with 24 points. Can still take the lead, actually, I think, depending on his last few matches. Camel, Dinoso, Cabin, Ducker, and Rupin still looking for more points to guarantee their safety within the group. Which is another very exciting group as the final week is close to happening upon us. Group D. You have three people already advanced in Fanium, Chris, and Zebrun. Last spot is up for grabs. Linux currently holds it with 21 points, but has played all seven of his matches. So Luke, with three matches left, definitely still in contention, would just need two points to grab that final spot. And McCullers is still slightly in this as well group f seven person group of rwc 2024 very close group five people can really contending for four spots currently of course buff and red fox not out of this yet but will take quite a few points across their remaining matches to get them in contention group g Mu with 26 points has taken first place with five wins over Peter, who has played all seven of his matches but left with 26 points. Alf has 16 points, Afro with 12, David with 12, Rocky with seven, TK with three, and Gecko with zero. Still a few spots left up for grabs for Group G. And Group H, the only other group with someone currently marked to advance, with Nezuko Chan taking 32 points out of his seven matches and will 100% advance to the next round. Joker is pretty much a lock at this point as well, which leaves the last two spots up for grabs. Of course, this was not the final match of the day, so let's take a look at the upcoming matches. We have Soviet Dubov, Alex Hiller. A very interesting Group A match coming up in two minutes, actually. Not sure if anyone has claimed that yet. Apricot Channel Joined will take place on Linux Penguin's channel in three minutes as well. Some Random Person and Loop.png will take place in two hours. Rocky Gecko will also take place in two hours. Nanini Reaper in three hours. Dine, Nomos, and Buff Guy will take place on the OSHA's channel 
in four hours. Observer Channel Reindeer, a Group B match, will take place in five hours on a channel to be determined. And we still have 41 additional matches that are scheduled currently. So yeah, if you're wondering when the matches will happen, be sure to check hitmaps.com, which will tell you every match in order and the channel they take place on, as well as who the admin is for the match. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I want to say thank you to Dynomos for adminning this match. Thank you to the players for being flexible enough to continue almost 42 minutes after their match was supposed to start. And yeah, thank you all for watching. So, I will see you later. Have a good one.